Hey, this is Tomo from 30 Seconds to Mars. You are listening to Jabba and Mel on Nova. And when we arrive in your wonderful country, Mel and me, we're going out. I hear she's hot. Tomo Guitarist from 30 Seconds to Mars on the Nova 90s. How long have you actually been with the band? I toured on the first record. Oh, okay, well. cool, cool. I came cool. into the picture about a year and a half after the first record came out. So you were obviously very early on in the... Um well, I guess bandwagon's not really the, the right word, but you, you're obviously aware of the band very I early. May, I probably was one of a handful of people that knew about this band early, early on. I had received this, like a demo from a friend of my sister's mm-hmm. once when I was visiting in California, you know? He was like, hey, check out this band, you might like it. And at first, I was like, I listened to it a little bit and it didn't totally catch my ear right away. And then I found out that Jared was the singer and I was like, oh, f- this. And then, you know, because I was this, I was one of those skeptics, and I was one of those little asshole kids, you know, but then I started to really listen to it, and then I started to realize, like, oh, wait a minute, I was totally wrong, this is actually very good, you know? <laughs> In, like, 2000 is when I started to become, like, a big fan, where I started to realize that I was really, really into this music, and then by the time the record came out, I was just completely and totally hooked. A lot of people totally hooked on 30 Seconds to Mars. We're totally talk- hooked on your stinks. <laughs> We're going to talk more <laughs> with Tomo from 30 Seconds to Mars. In- of course, uh, 30 Seconds to Mars have made it into the Nova 19s at number 10. This is the band that features the very, very sexy actor, Jared Leto. We've got Tomo, the guitarist, our special guest right now. Do you think the Jared Leto you know, factor, having a, uh, a famous actor, a famous celebrity in your musical outfit, is a help or a hindrance? It's both, you know, because, you know, the funny thing is, is it's a really old story for us because we've been kind of like dealing with that for such a long time already. Yeah. And we, and I mean, I know that in other parts of the world, it's obviously not an old story, but for us, you know, in America and in Canada and just like the places that we've really spent a lot of time in, no one really cares about that anymore. So it's like we've played live so much and we've just done so many things to kind of break that mold and break that stereotype. Yeah. That even now when I when I get questions like that, I'm just kind of like, oh yeah, I forgot that some people still might be tripping on that. But really, it's uh, it's a hindrance and it's a help. I don't think it's so much of a hindrance anymore because we've proven ourselves completely live and, and making records. You know, there's nobody out there that can listen to it or see us live and say that that it's some kind of a vanity project. You know? Yeah, I mean, obviously, you guys, you know, you built up that reputation as, as being yeah, you know, musicians and performers and stuff, which is great. In the past. I guess I suppose to answer your question, in the past, it may have been a hindrance because you have to work a little harder to convince people. But now, it's just a help because now we can utilize any kind of a medium to talk about music, which is really what we're out here to do, is just to share it with everyone. I'm sure that this is a taste of things to come for 30 Seconds to Mars. From the album A Beautiful Lie, it is the kill. Uh, Tomo from the band, thanks for talking to us. Thank you for having me. What is